Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch's mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has some shit. <laughs> What up, motherfuckers? Welcome to the 5150 show, the most unprofessional, well-watched show in America. <laughs> the show where we beat up raccoons, uh, and we... Verbally, yeah. Oh. Anyway, motherfuckers, this is Our crew. legal counsel here. <laughs> this is the normal crew of Darlene OG Ortiz, mm -hmm. my man Zoe, and I got my little homeboy. The, 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 uh, some of y'all probably seen him. On uh, social media, being funny. Yeah, uh, Teddy. My man Teddy. 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 What's up, 50? I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I was on. I was laughing like a motherfucker when I saw you um um doing that shit about ordering the food. Oh, uh, with the sauces? Cause yeah. They really be trying to play you with the sauce when you go to like Chick Fil A or something like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. they just give me some extra sauce. Yeah, they right? can charge you. want him. some extra sauce. I, I would like two extra sauces because I like to put my fries in sauce. Right. They don't understand. <laughs> oh, it ain't just uh, for the nuggets. Uh, uh, me about uh, nuggets. Uh, yeah, I ordered a six piece. Oh, Twelve God. sauces. Oh. Yeah, 12, 12, 12 sauces. What? God damn. I got crisscross fries. You know, the little waffle fries. So, right. so the sauce well, is like the syrup. The for the waffle fries. Right. right. <laughs> oh, good. You are honest. Oh, whoa. When you oh, dip whoa. them fries, them big ass fries in the sauce, half the sauce be gone anyway. Oh, because right. you're saying, cause they're flat. You don't got the little right. tip. You don't have the average fry has your little tip. You so swallow that sauce with fries on it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say Corey's kid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> then now, hold on now. They, you know they, they, go, they go. don't need no DNA test up here. <laughs> they going to go ham. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy be watching the show. He already know. Mm. They gonna, for, fuck y'all. They're going to rag you, Teddy, but fuck them. Oh, all right. He said ain't got no knuckles already. Oh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> God damn it. He's going to start the thing. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> What you got? That's all my face. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Somebody God. say, me and you finna have an eat off. La 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 Bell 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 is it? Fuck them, it don't matter what they say. Right. We, we'll work the shit Y'all anyway. can still hear me on Zoe Mike anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Anyway, <sighs> I have to start the show talking about something. Uh-oh, is it not? happened yesterday um, with Mr. Mike Vick. Oh, I was going to go in on that one too. Okay. Well, I'll wait on it. No, to go we for can it. wait on it. You, you sure? want to do it afterwards? Yeah, I'll skip it. I'll skip it, we, and then we I can cut make in. the topic if you want. What you want to do? <laughs> no, I just wanted to comment on the shit. You got it? I got it. I was okay. about to go over it because well, I was going to. Yeah. Yeah. You but I didn't know when. You about old boy in Minnesota? The cop? Which one? Good. In Minnesota? Another cop? I want to tell y'all something about a cop in Minnesota. Um, This motherfucker shot the shit out of this bitch. I mean, uh, <laughs> I tried not to laugh. I really did. It's I, hard, I right? It. It's no, difficult. Let me say this. It's the way Corey said it. I'm not for a police violence. Not for any, really. But this was a black cop who shot a Caucasian yoga instructor. Wow. They, huh. She, from what I understand, she called the cops. He shot her from the car. What wow. I understand, he was still in the car. <laughs> Were they dating? 
Why did he shoot her? Nah, I don't know why he shot her. Uh, we story. got to read this okay, story. Come on now. This is, this is by shit. Shit. This is this motherfucker. From what I understand, shot a woman from the squad car, and she the one who called the cops. And she was a Caucasian woman. I got to pull. So this has changed everything. No, let me tell you what all happened. You you look it up, Zoe. Look okay. it up. Try to find out this shit. Oh, don't tell me that they're, they're going like in on him. Don't going. tell me that they got him. Oh, the procedure up. has changed. Yeah, it has. Now listen. The approach, let the me body say cameras is right. going to be on all, all that shit. Let me say this because, first of all, an unarmed <laughs> citizen should not be shot by a fucking armed cop unless they have done something to provoke the cop to have no recourse but to shoot the motherfucker. Um, oh, here it is. Newly revealed audio now sheds light on final moments of yoga teacher. Y'all you, 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 see this shit. Mm -hmm. This was a Caucasian woman with no gun on her. Mm. And this motherfucker shot the shit out of her ass. Now here's the twist. He was black. Right. And he had a Muslim name. He's Somalian. Oh. He's a, he, he's Somali. They they from they what I police, understand, yeah. they released his name. Yeah. The cops don't normally release no name when a motherfucker gets shot. Mm. You don't know who the motherfucker is till later on. Later on. Usually, because the, the police don't give you no information. What you say, Teddy? The streets usually they try to find out like the officer that did such Eventually, and such. Eventually, his name is found yeah. out. But this dude's name was put out there. Officer Noor. N O O R. That ain't the cop who shot him. Yeah. The cop who last name it was a Islamic last name they had. Well, them. Noor is Islamic. It's spell it. N O O R. Oh yeah, two O. This is it's a, it's a what's it's his Islamic. first name? I'm trying to find it in, in this story. They showed that first his name. Anyway, also here's another twist from what I understand. His partner said, "I don't know why he shot her." His now, partner? Have, have you ever heard the police? They usually against, stay behind the blue right, line. Right. right. Speak on or against what happened on the scene. We're trying to figure out and we're going to ascertain, you know, the events that took place here. Muhammad Noor. Muhammad. Oh. Muhammad. That's the name I saw. They didn't say nothing about Noor, but Muhammad Noor. Noor. Right. This motherfucker shot an unarmed Caucasian woman. Wow. This motherfucker. From the car. That fired that night, I heard. It wasn't no <laughs> She's visiting from Australia. What? Wow, that's terrible. He, he must have been hopping toward that motherfucker. I think she was two months away from getting, getting married. Yeah, her husband's on the Two months away from getting married. So the cop. From the car, you can't say you were scared. So the scared, why he pop up from life, the car? All that that work on us, that don't work in this scenario. Say it, Teddy. This is the fifty one fifty show. It's just ironic the timing of this. I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm not. You know, all due respect to the lady and her family, and you know, being a victim and all that. But yeah. ain't no Muslim cop shot nobody in like no never in history. Nigga. Black cops but, aren't allowed to pull their guns on. Right, Caucasian but people. today out of all days or this the week, Caucasian I, person has to shoot at you first. That's in the police book. If you're a black cop, you have to get shot at first. You have you to receive a wound, right? To in order to inflict. Right, the know? ambulance has to be on the way in order for you to shoot. Right, at it. like you really got to be Caucasian in a shootout. Caucasian woman. You just ain't no black Muslim cop. Who hired him? When did he? Was he just hired? Mm. Go to the. Well, he didn't he, look that old. Right, he, he looked was young. Twenty six years old, just put on the force by the FBI. Is that was that his age? Twenty six? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Didn't say on this one. I know I'm he looks young. Guessing. Yeah, he looks awfully young. Yeah. Wow. His hairline still looked somewhat intact. I guess. Mm. But the main point I'm trying to say is. Wow. We ain't rooting for nobody to get shot by the cops. I don't oh, give a fuck who you are. No. Right. You're an unarmed citizen. You ain't got no business getting shot by no motherfucking cop. Right, when she called them for help, 911. Wow. Somebody said Teddy cried when Carl Jr. opened on his block. Wow. Word. Word. That's what y'all doing. 
life. <laughs> you stream life. That's what y'all doing. Stream life. You coming. stream life. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> y'all over here just chatting away all day. Huh? Y'all gonna stop calling me Lavelle on you stream. Uh, uh, <laughs> I am I not. It's Lavelle. terrible that we live in a society where um, I saw the picture yeah. of him. People, have y'all seen the picture of him? Okay, yeah. I changed my li- my line about his hairline being intact. It's way back. It's pushed way back. But he still looked relatively young. He was a police officer for two years and was the first Somali-American to serve in his precinct. So and when you go through Minnesota, I don't know if you know this, it's a lot of Somalians at the airport. Yeah. Working there. Mm-hmm. So I would imagine there's a lot of them in the city. Oh yeah, they got this their own little tribe. Let loose on an unarmed citizen. You the first Somalian on the force. Why would you? He ain't on the force no more. The force <laughs> is not strong with him no more. I know he going to jail. I bet my life he going to jail. He yeah. ain't getting no. Maybe not your life, but I understand what you mean. You going to jail? Yeah, you. That's are. what they was telling him in this precinct that night. You shot a white woman. Are you fucking crazy? Hey, she was just calling to get help because she was reporting a sexual assault occur- occurring nearby her home. That's oh, awful. Oh, damn. What about the black mother that was calling for help? I mean, and it's she, like, well, you know, it's disproportionate when it, it comes to how many unarmed black people get shot by cops all the time. But I'm saying this was some different shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I want to watch what happens because usually when the cops kill unarmed citizens, I expect them to beat it. Right. Unarmed black citizens, that is. Hmm. I wonder what's gonna happen with this. Right. How do you how do they deal with that? They arrest they even arrest the cop like they did the Caucasian cop lady who shot that motorist who was right. stranded. Mm-hmm. They they charged her with murder, but she beat it. She let it go. Cause they don't they don't take them to jail. I wonder what's going to happen. Somebody say he's getting deported. <laughs> well, he's an American. Let's just keep that. Citizen, right, he's a yeah, Somali was... American. So he's an American. He's not from just born somewhere else, I guess. He's an American. Yeah. So uh, it says Muhammad Noor joined the, uh, joined the de- department in March of 2015, reached over and shot Justine uh, Damon. She's 40 years old, uh, multiple times. From the passenger seat of his squad car. Wow. While she spoke to his colleague on the driver's side in a back alley. And that's what? why that that's why they're all saying that what the heck was he why was he smart homie was there too? The other was he checked it know, says, for drugs this sounds on good. site. Right. Which everybody know, any police mm. officer who fires their gun should be checked for drugs. Mm-hmm. Man. You should be checked for drugs. It says both police officers' body cams were off and the squad car camera not recording when Damon, who was in her pajamas, was killed at around 11.30 and they said the p.m. Nine, on the, Saturday. The 911 video has not been released yet, the audio. If That's- you stupid enough to call the police to your house, after all this, because you don't know who's showing up at your house. You don't know who coming to your crib. You should only call the police if you want somebody to get shot. Because that's what happens when you call stuff's the police. Get, but stuff's getting so out of hand now. Now people are going to start just taking things into their own hands before calling police. That's what's going to happen. That's what's been happening. I know a lot of people take stuff into their own hands. I'll call my cousin before I call no, the I'm police. No, I'm talking about everybody, not just folks. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, look. Uh, there, now everybody going to be paranoid. Like, holy shit. It, that's, that's just the cops overall. Why would you ever trust the cop? You don't know who knocking Shoot. at your door Oof. supposed to be helping you. Mm. The cops, one day I was at home, and the cops came in my house on my people. Mm. They said the door was open. That's how I got my people to start locking the door. Because mm. they was... Relaxed in the area we live. Police walked in. You don't shut the door all the way. It's a just walked in. Yeah. Walked in the motherfucking house. Mm. Was going through shit too. Because they was looking for something to justify being in there. Just walked in and going walked through in, shit. They said the door was open. Was my drawers open too? Nigga? Like, I know the door wasn't open, but it wasn't locked. 
I don't know why people think you could be in a house they don't need with a warrant? the door not locked. They don't need a warrant anymore? They could just yeah. go through your shit. What they did mm-hmm. was illegal. Mm-hmm. But wow. they the cops. Who gonna check them? Who, who gonna make them do, who gonna, who gonna make them answer for that? Wow. Unless you motherfucking go to their house and blow their brains out. Because mm-hmm. that's the only way you really getting some justice from these police is if you bust back on their motherfucking ass. It says right here, the shooting over the weekend again has fueled distrust of law enforcement among Minneapolis. Uh, and then it said that there. But 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 what for that? When Mr. Castile was murdered by the cop, it didn't. It was it, probably it, not it, in that area. No, they probably weren't. They probably weren't concerned. They said in that area. And then it says that they're, they're reluctant now to call the police for help, and they w- they're not going to go outside to call them if they did call, noting that the shooting made no sense to them. That it's very scary. Wow, yeah. that's tough. We finally, hear Caucasian right. people say that. Shooting and he looked, no one sense. of them even says, "How many people have to get shot? We're not, we're not walking our dog at midnight in Syria." Wow, wow. I mean, it's just it's that it's, sounds like privilege. It's right tough. There. It's tough because there's a level of patience and there's a level of inquiry around this particular case. Where when it's black, it's always Damn. well, what was he doing? Right. Well, well. Well, did he follow the proper procedure? Now you, hit, you know, you now some, it's. I mean, it's so unfortunate. Now we don't trust the cops, See? right? Well, right. That's why I was saying this. Like I said, I'm not rooting on nobody, nobody to be walking no. down the street and get shot this by somebody awful. who right. has legally been told you have a gun and you can shoot it. Mm. Cause see, you haven't been told that. You ain't got a gun. See, in the wild, wild west, the sheriff used to have to worry about a motherfucker shooting back at his ass for fucking with him. Mm-hmm. But now. If you have a gun, you wrong. Mm. You can't shoot back at the cops. You're supposed to trust the cops and what they have to say and what they're doing with their investigation. Get the right. fuck out of here. The cops is some pill popping motherfuckers who motherfucking got that job because they were the bottom half of the class who were lucky enough not to have a felony yet. That's all a cop is. It ain't no smart, educated motherfucker. It's the dumb fucks who, the, the dumbass steroid taking, um, I'm just keeping it real. What a clean uh, record. Uh, uh, white boys who didn't get in trouble in college. Oh, you, you ain't got a record? Come on, you're going to join the force. You're going to huh? join the fire department. You're going to join one of these motherfuckers because uh, 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 you're a good old boy. Mm. That's basically what it is. The cops ain't shit. Last last comment yeah. I'm going to give is her her stepson because they did a, a, a press conference and the stepson said um, basically my mom's dead because a police officer shot her for no reason I don't know he said uh, he added America sucks these cops need to get trained differently this is in Australia of course he's giving a press conference I need to move we need to move out of there yeah that's tough he from Australia yeah. He need to get out of America. Well, they got a home here. To me, I said, I said, I said, people need to get out of America. Mm. When I said it, it was people talking so much shit on my social media. Mm. Let me tell you something: America ain't shit, especially if you are a black person. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. I called Zoe today, and I wanted to make sure he went to go see this movie. I saw it. It's called the New Planet of the Apes. Yeah. The, what is the one? The, uh, the War. War of the Planet of the Apes. And it's supposedly the war last the of the trilogy or whatever it is. The last I of the series. did not start this war. Right. It <laughs> was started by an ape named Koba. It was a... <laughs> they, they, they let the Barbie. monkey tell on the other monkey. <laughs> Yo, uh, ain't that how it is? Get over here, donkey. Right. Yeah. No, in, in, in real life, this movie was one of the most racist movies I've ever seen in my life. I saw this shit. I couldn't believe that they actually tried to pull this shit off, but they used monkeys instead of black people. And all the actors are all white. There's of about, course. They had a white movie. Michael Jackson movie. There's it's Hollywood. There's three brothers in it, but they're on the lower part of the casting scale. I saw, they I got one up, line of piece. Out of 40 actors. Out of 40 actors. Uh, but, but look, this is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> If you have not seen Planet of the Apes, this movie, you gotta see it. I'm not though. saying go see it at the show. Don't patronize this bullshit. They call it Nat but Turner. They Apes. Basically, got <laughs> get some the monkeys on the doing shit. They they able to do racist shit because they use monkeys. <laughs> but really, 
<laughs> you be like, you see, they whip monkeys like wow. slaves do slaves. Wow. They whip them. They whip them. They got a traitor monkey that's white. His Man, name Winter. is Winter. <laughs> he sold the niggas out. <laughs> this Winter. Is, this movie is the worst shit if you intelligent. Now, if you a dumb motherfucker, you would be like, boy, the monkeys, boy, they got fucked up. Wow. Although I did, though, when I was a child, that first one, I really seriously had a crush on um, on Cornelius. Cornelius. You had oh! a crush on Cornelius. Yes, he I in did. this movie? Do you ever he a baby. You like monkeys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he been fucking monkeys our whole life. <laughs> what? That's why her family don't fuck with her for real. Oh, my God. It's D, the monkey fucker. Oh. The lover of Don't monkeys. Even monkeys with ponytail. <laughs> Damn you. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Hey. I ain't seen it yet. I gotta check. I I'm gonna go either. to movies once. Did you see the Underground Railroad? Oh, they're over there giving everything away. In this right. eight movie, I give it away. Fuck that movie. They got an underground escape railroad. Wow. With a, a monkey at the bottom, a orangutan who face look like a big pussy. <laughs> He looked just like Harriet Tubman, and he say the motherfuckers in my life. He did, the big, the, you ain't even what? see. You don't yeah, see it. I'm like they tried to say Harriet Tubman look like this. I didn't, I didn't oh. see him as Harriet Tubman. The his name, hey, but his name was Maurice. Maurice. <laughs> that was his name. The orangutan they is Maurice. Call it Harriet. Well, well Maurice is it means the black one, the more. Oh. That's what that name means. He the Maurice. one who saved the little white girl. He wouldn't leave her behind. Wouldn't leave her. He, and he, you should have saw his face when the other apes at first was like, no, nah, fuck that, leave her. Yeah. He was like. Because <laughs> Caesar <laughs> killed her daddy. Caesar was like, we can't take her, man. Right. We can't do that. <laughs> this monkey, they had the real slave baby face on this monkey. That's <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Step and fetch it, monkey. I, I, Stop it. I can't leave her. He <laughs> said he he, he don't really stand up to Caesar that much, the main monkey. But when Caesar didn't want to bring her, he was like, his Not face looked like a pussy that's been fucked by a gangbang of elephants. What? <laughs> a gangbang of elephants. That's <laughs> <It's> like 30 <laughs> tons of elephant dick. Just <laughs> hey, <God. laughs> Like, you know they had sellout monkeys. True, I saw that. They had monkeys that worked for the Caucasian people called donkeys. That's what they call them. The donkeys, yeah. The donkey monkeys. And they came from the monkey that rebelled against Caesar. And Caesar had to kill him in a previous movie. But listen Cola. to this. Listen to this. Hey, so the monkey Stephen came back A. Smith. Life. Stephen A. Smith. No. Steve Harvey. Uh, oh, all you shit. motherfucker! What? Listen to this part. Why did they say they were serving the white folks? Uh, 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 so do what you mean? remember? Why was they doing it? Oh, because they was mad at Caesar. No, but what did the white people tell them? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Which they basically part? look the sellout monkey, the main one, the big swole. You talking about donkey, the gorilla? The the big silverback eight that was beating niggas ass. Right, that was beating motherfuckers up. Said. Yeah. They said they was going to let them live with them and all like that. Am oh, I yeah. lied? He did say wow. that. Am I lied? Dude, he say said, you do it, right, Steve Harvey? We're going to look out for you. We're going to take care of you. Martin Luther King Jr., why you was up there at the motherfucking Trump Tower? Mm -hmm. The same reason you what? did it is why the monkey did it. <laughs> oh, my God. He just wanted to live with him and be cool. Am I lying, though? Is that, is that he what he said, said? He said the colonel has all power. That's what he, he said. said. He said, the, the white man got all power. Like, you stupid for... Hmm. Damn. This movie was some deep shit. I don't need to see Y'all done just told us everything. Right. Well, not everything. <laughs> they told you everything. That ape-pocalypse now, did you see they that? They had a hip-hop looking monkey. They had a monkey in a hat and a vest. With some boots on. What's it. that What's that rapper from New York name? God damn it. Papoos? Uh, he said <laughs> that's why we got Teddy on here for the young blood. Yeah, he said man, Papoose. That's Ooh, great. Papoose Papoose like forty. Man. I I couldn't think of nobody else right Lisa now. Keys was uh, oh Swiss Beats. That that Swiss Beats. Who was she singing to that one nigga in that video? Uh, oh Method Man. Not Method Man. The other little monkey nigga. Damn, I'm he like, a cool, what? He a cool one. That song. 
And it was like, who? Oh, I <laughs> don't know my Most name. Most death. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most death looking motherfucker. <laughs> he was Most scared the fucking- whole movie. Why? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. I ain't going to go back there. No, no. No, no. no, no. no, no. Hold on. Don't go there. Yeah. Hey. They had him in a vest and shit. Oh, I ain't disrespecting you both, Jeff. I'm just saying. <laughs> this God. fucking reminds me of how you look a little bit. No. no. I like both Jeff no. was ugly, but I was like, that's what it looked. I didn't he was see older, the most, most deaf looking monkey. No, I, I no, see what I see no. what you're saying now. It ain't he just like, got some kind of resemblance, uh, right? He usually spot on though. This this one, there's some nah, oh. hell no. Nah. When they had the head monkey in jail after they whipped him, <laughs> wow. They had the little white girl sneak in and feed him and give him some water. <laughs> Him out his, uh, head. Wait, the one that he saved? Bad ape. Right, yeah. You know, like, just imagine back in the slave day after the slaves get whipped, then the little kids who don't know no better come, they be like, well, my man. daddy had to whoop you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Oh, no. This shit is crazy. Oh, I'm telling you. Now they ain't there going crazy. Right, right. right. ain't nothing new in Hollywood. They just want to reinvent roots, nigga, <laughs> and put it with monkeys. Brooklyn Zoo monkey. <laughs> <laughs> White savior, you right. Uh, see money. That's how they had it, man. No, nah, it was it was wild. They had him strapped up on a cross and they everything. Had, the dead monkeys was hung and shit. Hung up. What? They was on nooses? Man, dog. No. It was monkeys on nooses? Watch it on cable. Don't pay your money to go see it. Oh, nah, you should see no, it. Or movies said, one, two, three, or one, two, three. Or they were crucified type. They were crucified. Oh. They crucified some of the monkeys. Hmm. And in I the see. end, all the monkeys did was go to the desert where some water was at and play. <laughs> and play? And play. <laughs> <laughs> the song. They they it. Even the grown monkeys was out there like, hey, everybody look up. <laughs> that shit look like that shit's fast. Dead on you. <laughs> like the whiz and shit. Can't you feel a brand new day? That's before your time. <laughs> <laughs> but I was feeling it though. I was bothering <laughs> Right. You can't win. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I know a little bit. I know a little bit. We had VHS in my house. It wasn't always, you know. Not VHS. Balling like that. Oh, dudes. Man, I look, mean, man. this shit was crazy, man. This, this, this is a fucking review of the goddamn Planet of the Apes. <laughs> man, it was very in depth. I'm glad y'all told me. I was, I was, they had the six dollar matinee today. That ain't even worth it no more. Oh, but man. tomorrow they do too. They, it's in another theater though. Oh, no, the old Magic though. Johnson Theater. Mm-hmm. You Wednesday. still be going to Magic Johnson on Theater? On Wednesdays, yeah, they clean <laughs> it up a little bit. You gotta go through. You right go to door. the Magic Johnson Theater. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. You're still going to <laughs> they let you I thought you were going. They yeah. cleaned it up. You yeah. saw how they redid everything. They cleaned it's it called up. the rave now. He sold it yeah. when he was trying to oh, get the dollars. Oh, he sold it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because all that new stuff is building there now. They oh. took down all that. I don't go really over there on Crenshaw and do shit because. I remember that bu- Buffalo Wild Wings had just opened. As <laughs> so, soon as Niggas. I walked in the door, you got to take your hat off. <laughs> they did that? I was like, what? At Buffalo Wild Wings, I got to take my hat off? That's the, the one, one right, right by on the Crenshaw. Albertsons? The one, the one on by Crenshaw. The by the Albertsons. Oh, yeah. You can't wear that hat up, you I, I know the guy who owns that, yeah. It be, is that it the just, homie? I don't give a fuck who it is. The first thing he said to me <laughs> was, you can't wear was not hat. welcome to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> You can't wear that hat up in here, boy. He said it like what? that? Just like that? Uh, some security no, guard. No, and I just turned right around like, I, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to go over here to the other part of town where uh, an old-ass black man can wear a hat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh. Fuck, I look like going in there and you can't wear a hat. It's just yeah, L.A., oh, man. Oh, it's just gang-banging no Central. Right. I, I mean, like, look, man, I understand the whole gang life shit, man, but them, Not them, everybody's them a niggas gang is damaged. Right. Right. You Our see that hat you got on, Teddy? Yeah. Do that, is that a gang hat? It's a Chicago hat. But I'm saying, like, that's, is, does that <laughs> represent any gang shit out there? I don't here? know. It's, it's a Bears hat. Statement. If you see me on the street, it's that's a Cubs hat. Right. I mean, a Cubs hat. It's right. neutral. Know, yeah. You got both right. colors, so he yeah. all right. So, I had on a hat with the, a Cubs hat that got the C on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, that's oh, a different. That's well. a different story. It's just a hard C. It's a so, hard. It's a hard it's a C. C. It's a hard <laughs> C. I, I put the bear on top of my C, so it's like so I can smile so and walk around. So I got a gay C on my head. Like, <laughs> like, 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 yes, it's like, Look, you're not from here. I'm from Chicago. It's a hard C. Fashion. That's a different story. Right, that's a hard story. I went to this bullshit ass meeting. It was one of them look. 
pyramid scheme meetings and shit. Oh, remember oh the for the life it, yeah. insurance? Boy, I had on a hat that had a C on it. That motherfucker was looking at me like, why you you can't wear that up in here? Really? <laughs> you need to dress professional. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. To get what scammed is professional? to scam people? Right, really? professional. Uh-huh. <laughs> All this shit gonna come out with that Michael Max big shit when you talk about that. Uh, uh, I bet right. we can go right into that, goddamn. Right. You want to go right into that one or just a, into can L-Tab? Can we go right into that, D? All right. This is a part of the he show wired up that now. has been stomached by millions of people around the nation. Um, it is Darlene O.G. Ortiz portion of the show, and it's called Loose Talk, Talk About, about Bullshit. Well, thank you. D, what happened? Well, uh, if you don't know by now, anyway, after Michael Vick made his comment that Kaepernick should get a haircut and do away with his afro, um, and that he also doesn't think that Kaepernick shouldn't represent, he shouldn't represent himself in that way, also adding that he needs to just go clean with the hairstyle. You know, why not, is how he's put it. You're already dealing with a lot. Anyway, people were anticipating Kaepernick's response, and boy, as classy and oh-so-clever Kaepernick never mentions Michael's name, but he sent out a tweet that is most likely directed to Michael Vick. And what he did was he just explained on his tweet, and that's the second picture. Um, I don't know if you saw that. There was two emails. There's another one. And where, where he just explains Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome. syndrome. Wow. Which is he's where people are saying, oh, he's refer- referring that Vic has that. And if you don't know what that is, then you can read that. No, he put that up. It's very wise. This right. guy Kaepernick is so, so boy, sharp. Boy sharp. That's why I said so I'll close. Read it. What does it say? The Stockholm it's Syndrome. The Stockholm Syndrome is. Go ahead. <laughs> the Stockholm Syndrome appears when an abused victim develops a kind of respect and empathy towards their abuser. It was named after a bank robbery in Stockholm when a group of bank employees were held hostage and developed Mm. a strong sense of empathy towards their captors. Mm. When this traumatic event was over, they even defended their captors by not wanting to say anything that might endanger their captors' freedom. Mm. This usually happens because the victim sees the smallest act of decent behavior Mm. as an uh, extracted extracted event which makes... I can't even see Which it. makes them see their captors as, as essentially, essentially good. good. There we go. I'm sorry. My eyes. This way they leave aside all the negative behavior distinctions of, of their, their captors, captors and focus on the positive ones. Ahead, the syndrome see. is also called traumatic, traumatic bonding. bonding or victim brainwashing. Damn, oh. I never heard Woo. that. Traumatic Woo. bonding. Woo. Traumatic bonding. Like if you get raped a woman get raped right but dude sounded... be talking about damn your pussy good did you see that the smallest then when the police act. come she be like but he said my pussy was good the so smallest he... act of decent behavior wow somebody said got... darlene get <laughs> zo get darlene's glasses so you yeah. can see <laughs> <laughs> show couldn't see that, that bottom half you started off strong though so you, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you started that bear and then i strong. got down to that bottom i said shit it's getting blurry he shut it down quick help somebody in class the behavior <laughs> extracted, nigga, as an EX. Yeah, sound out. Oh. He is. I like it. His pro- pro- profile. Profile. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but he got it. That was No, nah, that was, that was that clever. Was, yeah. That was a Coming nice in, post. Have you noticed every time he speaks? he don't never put his foot in his mouth? Mm-mm. Man. He don't mm-hmm. never say no sucker shit. Let me tell you something. I want to say this to my Surreal brother, stand up dude. Mike Vick, because I rooted for Mike Vick when Niggas they was railroading hard. him. We was hurt. We hurt right now. We when don't they know how him out of his spot, I was rooting for him bad. But look, my brother Mike Vick, um, you don't need to speak publicly because you are mentally fragile. You You don't know how to engage the world because you don't have the knowledge of yourself. And it's obvious because you think something wrong with Kaepernick because he let his hair grow. And let's say this, if you don't think nothing wrong with Kaepernick, but you said, no, I'm just worried about what they think, perfect. 
Right. That's what I'm trying to say. So you need to shut the fuck up because what what they think is first and foremost in your mind. You, the fat boy on Fox, Whitlock, y'all motherfuckers, man, y'all motherfuckers need mental help. Whitlock think you are supposed to dress in a way that's very unintimidating. If not, you need help. Mm. I need help. Yeah, what you got on, he would say, you don't, you don't look up to par. My dude, I'm out here working, you know. I'm not making Thank big you. money, but I'm making money, you know, doing what I got to do. <laughs> and I don't got to switch up, not a damn thing. I don't got to act professional, talk professional. Well, when I'm dealing with money, you know, meeting people, yeah, be very, you know, I got manners, nigga, but I'm going to be me. Is all you need. I'm going to be me the whole way through. So, And I think it also depends on the position that you're in, too. But he's not saying that. Like, he's saying, period. Like, he's No, saying. that's what I'm saying. Like, whenever you're working for somebody and somebody is signing off on your checks, whether it's a small check or a big check, there's going to be some level, you know, of capitulation that you're going to have to show. What you, does capitulation mean? Right. You we gotta, want the <clears throat> I'm just saying, you're going to have to bow down. You're going to have okay. to surrender in some kind of way. If you're signing your own checks, if you're making your own way, if you're an entrepreneur and you're self-employed and you're creating, your, you can dress the way you want to dress. But I still think that depends on the situation and the circumstance. When we look at Mike Vick, Mike Vick went through some shit and then the NFL kind of saved him again by bringing him back in. They saved him? But watch how, knew watch, watch, watch how he came back in. Play again. But watch how he came back in. They let him play again. He cleaned up. He didn't wear any braids anymore. He got the fade. He tried to walk the the right the, the straight and narrow path because that was required of him. When he was walking in the path of his spirit, nigga, when he had cornrows the and, path diamonds, of his spirit. and diamonds in his ear making $100 million, he was playing the best he had ever played. They stripped him of all of that. Right. Made him feel broke. Right. He cut his hair. Now he playing weak. He playing, you know. Right. But I'm just saying. Playing that. Division three ball in NFL. Right. But he had to follow a certain way. He had to clean himself up in the eyes of the shield. Hmm. Now, Colin Kaepernick. All he did was take a knee for injustice, and nobody has dealt with why he took the knee. Injustice. We shouldn't even have a conversation about his hair. Right. His hair ain't got nothing to do right. with his playing. All he did was take a knee for injustice, and nobody mm -hmm. talked about that. To come back around and then say, hey, man, you should cut your hair so you could get back in. Well, what did he do to get out? Nobody's even dealing with that part. But why isn't he in already? Right. Mm. He's definitely better than a lot of quarterbacks mm. currently playing. Right. Oh, went he, to the Super Bowl, am I right? Yeah, he went yeah. to the Super Bowl with the Niners. Lost to uh uh Harbaugh's brother with against Baltimore. But went to the went to the Super Bowl with the Niners. Somebody was talking about his play. They were saying his play. When he went to the Super Bowl, this man had Randy Moss. He had uh, what's the dude, the wide receiver from Oakland? This got, this got, this got the white boy the hundred million. Crabtree, Crabtree. Oh yep. yeah, he was a beast. He had the motherfucker who used to play um, in Baltimore as well, a wide speedster. receiver. I, uh, uh, I forgot the dude's I name. I forgot his name, but you know who I'm talking about? Ben. No, no. Him, but he he had him on there too. But he had the the one dude. He was a he was a wide receiver. He used to play for the Baltimore Ravens. And then he oh, went Bolden. to the Niners. Bolden, Bolden, right. Yeah. He had a hell of a core of receivers with him. He so he was able to shine. He was not all running. He would throw and run. Right. right. He was on the he was on the course to be a great quarterback. Right. Had had Frank Gore on that team. He had some players. Right. So and last year his numbers say that he was a decent quarterback in the NFL. What he threw? Uh sixteen TDs yet last year? Yeah, he, he was a decent quarterback in the NFL. A lot of people who got re-signed had terrible records that were a lot worse than him. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Point I'm he had to uh, make Vernon is, Davis at tight end. He had some players. Boy. There's a lot Vernon of guys Davis. who think like Mike Vick. That's why ain't nobody really doing nothing about what's going on in the NFL. They wanted, They got to keep that check coming to the house. They got bitches, all they bitches and bills. And headaches, and, bitches, and bills, and white people <laughs> breathing down their neck. So they got to keep swear, everybody man. happy. You, you said it just like I said bitches it, man. And bills. Bitches and bills in that order. 
bitches are bills, but they separate. You know what I mean? Like, no, <laughs> the bitches they automatically come with bills. Plus the bills they supposed to pay anyway. Right. Mm. Bills on top of bitches on top of more bills. That's why mm. the police, a police officer, listen, a police officer can beat up a black teenager in front of a whole group of black people, and nobody will do nothing. Mm. Because motherfuckers are scared of losing their bitches and bills. Wow. Mm. That should be wow. the name of this show. Bitches mm. and bills. No. Bitches and That's bills. A- That's going to be y'all new theme song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your dark. <laughs> bitches and bills. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. But let, let me say, man. We shouldn't come down too hard on Vic. Because he's only speaking from his experience. He went through some shit. And now he's shell shot. But let's that's see why I told. Back. That's let's why I say he, he shouldn't speak publicly because he's mentally fragile. Right. Mm-hmm. Go get yourself together. You're not playing football now. Learn who you are and learn who the people who ass kissing. Learn who they are. Then let's see what you got to say about what's happening. Because right now, boy, you think you' supposed to not get caught. I didn't say be a better person. Did you notice right. that? Right. You think you' supposed to just not get caught? Right. right. Don't get caught. That's your mentality now. It's fucked up. Yeah. And then there's also a pressure, especially younger kids coming into the league, whether it's NFL, whether it's NBA, there's a pressure on these kids to clean up. And I understand from one side of it, you know, the professional look. Uh, my uncle always said, you know, if you if you walk into a room with, with, with a high-end suit on, people look at you different. They respond to you different. So I understand why you want to clean up in a certain way, but that should be your prerogative. Right. Thanks. Somebody right. said on there, some level. Somebody up there said Vic meant well. It don't matter what you meant. You know that you ain't that motherfucker to be talking about shit. You do not need to be on TV as an analyst. You don't have that type of mental uh, 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 strength. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. He hope like they I said. bring the NFL three on three out. That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> it's over thing. for you, my dude. It's over. Oh. Yeah, well, I, I hope they oh let him. I hope they Nick let him. Nick wasn't uh, even that professional. You got neck tats. You just black as hell, so can't nobody see him. Oh, oh. but you got neck tats, hand tats. Would you get a neck tat, Teddy? Nah, hell no. Nah. Well, it'd be a waste of ink, right? It'd be hell. Yeah. I got a, oh I got a tattoo God. on my chest, and bitches swear I'm lying. They hey. think you got burnt right Bro, there. Hey, this is, <laughs> It's a keloid or something. Oh, it's off. Like, it ain't no it. tattoos. It's a gravy stain. Tattoo. When I see some real dark brothers with, with tattoos, that, like, see, what you got to get are those tribal tats. <laughs> that shit where the skin is risen. You, mean, <laughs> you seen that shit? Well, one of the a guy I used to date. I can't do this, dude. Right, right there. What the? Little, you know, the college thing. What are they, what are they called? The needle? The, the, no. Like what the is Hindu that branding needle? that they do? In Listen, do talk about one of our monkeys. Go ahead. Oh my God! You said it. I'm not saying that. The anyway, frats. no, he's got the frat brand on his. Um, you was dating a Q? Arm. The Omega dude. I don't know about the. I don't know. Cap, I don't know what it. the tent was. You just got with him. He was like, it I like it. It was the burn. Right there. Right. It was the burn. The burn. Right. You know when it? Yeah. They it's got the burn. That, that slave mentality shit where they get branded. <laughs> I believe it. And I'm here to tell you. And I say this again, it and I don't give it. a fuck who get mad. When I go to them college frat shits, that's the fruit booty get together. Uh oh. Too many moist motherfuckers in the group. God mm. damn it. Too many. Anyway, okay, we're moving on. Also, <laughs> oh, their bark is like that. Right. That's their bark. <laughs> oh my god. The cues is cool. I went to a, a you had a cue party and them motherfuckers they're like, see. Yeah, you <laughs> know, <laughs> they, they do be uh, shirtless, just jumping them down, sweating, tongue out. My niece is uh, father. Plays to this dick, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Stop. Stop. What are we doing? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Go ahead, dude. Speaking of like speaking that. of school related things. Anyway, another blatant a BS story that's out in the news that kind of that really pisses me off is the one of the young black female named Jasmine Shepard. I don't know if you heard about this one, who had became Mississippi's first valedictorian valedictorian in a very segregated town and the school it's called cleveland high very first one in 110 years but then she was forced to not only share the honor with a white student named heather bouse 
but was told to walk behind her during the ceremony. But Jamie refused and walked alongside. Jamie said that there's papers that show Bowles has a lower GPA because she took less AP classes than she did. Jamie's parents are now suing the district saying that they took away her right to be the sole valedictorian and having to share school's top honor with a white girl at the predominantly white school now it's 50 50 though really but it used to be predominantly white um but ever since the story has come out about the shepherds suing the district they've been receiving the most vile racist hate messages online white you, folks who, school n no them her and her, oh, mother, her, and her mother queen, our young so what happened was listen they set up a facebook uh, profile um so that they can have you know, get people's support and bring awareness to what's happening for her lawsuit. It's called Just Justice for Jasmine. Anyway, it's getting bombarded with the most horrible messages. And as a matter of fact, if you go online, I didn't take a snapshot of it. I should have. If you go online, you can actually see the names of those people because people took screenshots and posted them up of those people sending those me awful right. messages. Because people are dumb. Right, but in particular, there's one, uh, did I get the gentleman? I don't even know why I'm calling him gentleman. The asshole's name, Jacob Francis. He's on Facebook, uh, a Caucasian older man. Excuse my language. This is what he said to her mother. On that Facebook page, profile that they set up you niggas your self-entitled actions make me sick and you can see his picture he's got a profile on facebook you shouldn't even be at the same school as white people he also ended it by saying and, and this is what and this is what made the headlines most he he said to her mother black lives don't mean shit i mm. believe it that's the average mind in my opinion <clears throat> of a caucasian person in mississippi and this is the most seriously if you look on that on their Facebook page that they're trying to bring awareness to this story right now because they're suing the family. The poor woman, her parents don't want to come back on the TV. They've been trying to get them to come talk about the story. She don't they're so afraid. Now she's shook because of all the things. That's actually tame compared to some of the other messages on that chat. What happens people are so to that evil. young lady is something that happens in society mm. all day long. All day long. Whenever there's uh, somebody who stands out and they're black they mentally beat you down by making you think that somebody white is supposed to ride your coattail when look when Carl Malone won the MVP mm. they told him he had to split it with his white teammate John Stockton am I lying what if do y'all oh, know about that? I remember uh -uh. that shit. I don't remember. Oh People, my mama. That's my time. You young. You don't know. Oh, my mama. He had to split his MVP. Listen to this, Wait, Teddy, because you a comic. You a comic. And I don't give a fuck. This is the truth. When I did my special that was filmed in Las Vegas, Gary Owens was supposed to film two. We were supposed to do two shows. Mm-hmm. He go one, he go, he go up first one show, I go up first one show. So we wind up doing one show. It wasn't no, okay, we we gotta determine who gonna go first. They said, no, Gary Owens is going first. The people in charge. Don't get it twisted, mister. And no reason, just it is what it is. That's, That's what it's gonna be. Why? Same thing they told that young lady right there. Mm -hmm. This Caucasian woman is going to get valid Victorian honors with you. As well. And you walk behind her. They did the mm -hmm. same thing to me. Wow. They do it. This is how they wow. think it's supposed to go. And if yeah. somebody say I'm lying, step to me. <laughs> All them fake ass cold black motherfuckers is an entertainment company called Cold Black. They do a lot of work in the entertainment business. They work with uh, Kevin Hart. They work with uh, a lot of people these are fuck niggas. Them motherfuckers wanted this white boy to make it so bad. They gave him every opportunity to blow up and told all the niggas you fall behind him. That's how he had a show on BET. Mm. All the niggas out here doing comedy, but they gave the white boy a show. On B E T. I remember Al Tuma brought him on stage. And I don't dislike Gary. 
I don't dislike Gary Owens. Mm-hmm. I like Gary I think, Owens. Uh, yeah, I remember him from Foxhole. He came up there a couple times. I like Gary yeah. Owens, but I'm here to tell it's you. It's actually Owen, I think, with no S. Get, with Owen. <laughs> Every opportunity to make it, he got. Mm. Same thing happened to that young lady. Damn. That Caucasian woman will be able to say, I was valid Victorian at my school. And they told her to walk behind me. Of course, she will say, I didn't tell her to walk behind me. You well, get what I'm saying? Yeah, well, they are both <laughs> saying that they are both saying that they get along. There's no, there's not a lot of drama at the so school. But that's who's what I'm saying. So who's the They're actual valedictorian? We tell the black girl because she got a higher GPA. She, that no, white they girl. said okay, they, they so said the white girl. She can't read. Look you can't have her. like a cold valedictorian, right? This is what I'm saying. <laughs> right, of course, the right. black girl gonna say, "I'm cool <laughs> with her." Yeah, I'm cool with her. I don't got nothing against her. But the truth is. They put that Caucasian woman in front of her, and that Caucasian woman didn't say, no, this is wrong. So exactly. And that's agree. the point I'm trying and even, to make. And the young okay. lady even said, she said, I have proof, I have papers that say the rules about this. And it says the one with the highest GPA along with AP classes, which she said she has more of. She so said, let I the took vice. Do you think Gary Owens going to say, no, that ain't fair? Me and Corey on the show well, together. that would be the rightful thing for someone to do. Let us flip a coin to see who go first. Let us do this to see who Some go first. Some kind of compromise. No, right. this is what I'm saying. They ride that motherfucking coattail of white privilege, but act like, why you tripping on me? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, she could have That's what happened You're to that right. girl right there. She should have refused. I, I'll call it out for you. You motherfucking know. That you are get everything you get is because you the Caucasian guy right here. What, you understand the that, right? Name again? Jasmine Shepard, if you want to look her up, because Jasmine got, Shepard, yeah. we love you out here, baby girl. Don't and I got a show right. coming up. Keep doing with it. Gary Owens on it. I don't got nothing against Gary Owens. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But the only reason I'm headlining that show is because I'm the baddest motherfucker out there. And I'll say that in anybody's face. Because back in the day, they used to have Gary Owens headlining when he was on shows with me. But the people have shown Corey Holcomb is the motherfucking man. That's the only reason Gary Owens isn't headlining the show in L.A. Because I'm really that motherfucker. Just like that young lady is really that motherfucker. That's right. Look, you don't owe nobody no apology, and you don't have to bite your tongue. Because if they can find a way to put that motherfucking white girl in front of you, they will do it. Mm. Mm. So there's still, if you want to support her, go go on her, follow her her page. Because they're suing. They're suing. They're, suing. Yeah. they're trying to get money for the lawyer, for a better lawyer or something. No. Are you around somebody Caucasian that's not bringing racism your way, you respect them. You show them respect. But don't ever let nobody get ahead of you and act like, oh, I didn't do nothing to you. Yeah, you did do something. You riding with that bullshit. And that's what happened in the past with me and Gary Owen. Mm. Once again, I'm not mad at Gary Owens, but I tell him to his face, motherfucker, you will ride with that bullshit if they let you. You will have me carrying your bags if they made me carry your bags. Mm. You Corey, these are just like, the rules. Fuck that, Corey. You ain't got to carry no bags. You my friend. No, fuck that. Uh. If I, if them motherfuckers found a way to make me carry your bags, motherfucker, that's what the fuck would happen. And I'm the motherfucker who would say it right to your face because I ain't got no motherfucking bullshit on my heart. My mm. shit 100. Well, there you I don't go. think Gary I asked you to carry. He got a little Asian man. He got a who? He got a little Asian man on the side. I don't know. He probably got somebody. I'll be down. But I'm just calling it like it is because I feel that young lady pain because I done been through the same shit. Oh, yeah. We done all felt that. I mean, that's a life. That's a shot right there, that top right corner. You see her face? I feel so bad for you. You see the girl? Yeah, you see her face. That's the face I had when I performed on that motherfucking DVD. What was that DVD? The one I did where I got on the suit, the crushed velvet. Yeah, the yeah. bullshit there, and I'm holding the drink and shit. Is that in this room somewhere? Your way ain't working. Is that it? Is that what? I is forget that the it? name of him. Yeah, your way ain't working. Okay. Your way ain't working. Gary Owens went up and got to do his whole show in front of a crowd in Vegas. You know how motherfucking mm. in Las Vegas people ain't got time to watch comedy shows. Mm. So I had to do my show after that because I was the nigga. Oh, well, there it is. Let it be known. That's one hundred. And the what? crowd tired. They want crowd was okay. tired. I had to bring the best out of them for a DVD. Damn. Damn. 
coming on late. He, uh, needless to say, he never forgot name? that. Jasmine Shepard. He irritated. Jasmine, Jasmine no. Shepard. Salute to you, that's young right, lady. That's right. Congratulations. Jasmine, Jasmine Shepard, I tell these stories so you don't think it just happened to you. It happens to all us. And the Caucasian, that Caucasian girl, listen, let me tell you something. Don't let her act like she your friend. She's an associate of yours. You might know her. You speak to her and you keep it moving. Because that bitch didn't do the right thing by you. That bitch did not stand up and say, I'm not Valley Victoria. Why y'all doing that girl like that? Mm-hmm. I got a 3.1. Fuck y'all doing? She got a 3.9? 3.5. What are we doing? Don't ever think that bitch your friend. That bitch ain't your friend, young lady. Mm-hmm. That bitch is not your friend. That bitch will take advantage of the situation and act like... I didn't do nothing. What you said? Why you mad at me? Shoot. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. I'm calling you out for who the fuck you are. Well, I'm mad because I did that. Well, let's keep calling people out. I so here we go. Did not Good luck start with all this that, war. Jasmine. Riding that, that privilege wave. Good luck, sister. They, 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 the bullshit don't stop, by the Mm-mm, way. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. When you get it's to college, they're going to be mad at you because they're going to hear about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's a smart black girl. Wow. And my daughter found out about that. My daughter, her first job, you know. She had a, a degree mm-hmm. for this, and them people who was working there Uh-oh. was not trying to respect. They was like, what is she doing here? She posted, no, she Uh-oh. has a degree for this. They said the black girl had a 4.2 or 4.3. Woo! That means you got AP classes up the ass. My she son, said. mama, they tried to kick her out of this school because she was the motherfucking smartest motherfucker in the school. Mm. They tried to, they lied on her test and tried to kick her out the school. That's so she make See, this white story make me bad. mad because mm-hmm. I know how it go. I know how it go. This is what they do to people. Fuck cold black. Them some fake motherfuckers who going to rob you if you around any of them motherfuckers. I can't think of this dude's name right now. Mm. I'll say his name. I don't give a fuck what you going to do to me. That's clear. You don't. I don't fuck. give a fuck. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. It's the 51 All right. Let's, mm. let's keep moving. And when you think about it, just let us let's, know. Let's pull him back. Anyway, okay, on, on to the back. next story. <laughs> All right, so back, See the even, shaking? Huh? even, <laughs> even <laughs> though... Um, is it come, is it I know what right? happened to that young lady. Mm. All right, anyway, next one. Uh, so even though this incident uh, where the Florida State Attorney Ar- Aramis Ayala happened over a month ago, the police cam video... Um, just was just released. If you guys are unaware, it's the one where she got pulled Ooh. over. Have you seen all this yet? I've seen it. Oh, okay. Kamala, Kamala she Harris. Bad? No, Better. that's Aramis Ayala. She is a Aramis the state Ayala. Florida state one of the Florida state attorneys. Anyway, after um, her, uh, she was pulled over. She asked. She already had her ID ready. I don't know if you've seen the video. It is yeah. classic to hear that police officers. Now, if you look at the picture at the bottom, right? Yeah. The police officer speaking to her is Caucasian, and you see a brother on the other side. You see on the, the other police officer on the outside? Oh, anyway, no, so uh, they walked up to her car on the outside. Yeah, he's, yeah, a, he's a, a partner. And she had her ID ready, gave it to him, and then he, what, what, do you, what am I being pulled over for? Oh, your, your tags popped up. They were kind of funny, whatever. What, 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 but what am I initially being pulled up? I mean, if you watch the video, it the officer, is... The officer got her ID, and mm-hmm. once he had Changed. her ID, he recognized who she was. She had to say. He actually still didn't, because he was like, oh. No, when she, when she said the name, that confirmed it. No, and then he said, oh, what's your position? Because he saw that she had the government issue. What's are, your he, what, position? Oh, well, That's what position are you in? And she said, state attorney. Well, now you heard that. <laughs> his whole voice, it sounded like he swallowed his heart. <laughs> uh, like he just, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make, <laughs> oh, he knew it. <laughs> right. Oakley, don't believe Even when he said, what's your position? <laughs> he was probably trying to figure it out. Like, I've seen this lady Ooh. somewhere before. But when she said it, he did not not believe her. Right. You right. could tell he was yeah. all the way believing. This is up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shoot. Like, nigga bitch that I had. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she laughed at him. Office. Every question. Hell no, she didn't laugh. You she see her face. You see that said, face at the bottom. That's she her said smile something about why did y'all run my tags? In the first place. This motherfucker was so caught up. He said, we run everybody. We dad. do that all the time. And she was no, like. No, really? The police shall run everybody? Shut did she have up. like government plates? No. Then then she said, then he said, well, also your uh, tent. He said, your, your tent, tent is awfully on your dark. Heart was um, awfully dark. I don't have a tent measurer right now. He just was a fucking piece of shit. When that happened. Who got caught up. Yeah. But what's going to happen to him? But when that, Look, when that happened, that's when she said. 
Can I have your cards? To yeah. both of them? Uh-oh. Oh, 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 I really don't have a card. I don't he, have them on me, look, but I he said, a curveball right there. This is how corrupt the cop was. He said, we all, he told on everybody. <laughs> he was caught. What did he say? He said, we all run tags around here on niggas. I mean, uh, on, oh, on oh. people. <laughs> anyway, her response now, like a day yeah, after. I think she got she the said, power to shut them two down. Miss Ayala said, to be clear, I violated no laws. The car's license was and remains properly registered, and the tent was in no way violating Florida law. Also, her goal is to have constructive and mutually respectful relationships between law enforcement and the community, and that she looks forward to sitting down with having an, and having an open dialogue with the chief of Orlando Police uh-uh. regarding this incident uh-uh. and how it impacts Packs her goal. Wow, the, look, his tone changed drastically when she said that. Do you I'm so proud of her? Do you know how mad the chief of police is that he got to sit down with this nigga bitch and hear what she got to say after that? Because talking ain't gonna do shit. If mm. the motherfuckers don't get fired for pulling her over, then them motherfuckers ain't scared to do shit. Or how many other people have they pulled over and done that to? Where that's a lot. Reason a they lot. finally pulled over somebody Ooh, who you shouldn't be able to get away with that. But uh-uh. ain't it, nothing happened. Uh, yeah. It's Look at ch- that face. You know how many people make that face when they get pulled over? That face of her, like, why are y'all fucking with me? <laughs> yep. She already. Had, she was like, mm. boom. I, that I, man. So many people watch that video. It's one of the hot. Highest viewed videos. Somebody got to tag me on that. And I say this. I need to see. Oh, it's out. You got to see it. Dude. I say this. I oh stand my on God. It. Caucasian cops should not be able to engage anybody but Caucasian citizens because of their history. Mm. Since cops have been part of the United States of America, mm. they. If you want to do something moral, if a white cop see somebody doing something wrong, they' supposed to have to call somebody else and be like, "Look." He's not white, so I can't approach him. <laughs> I, oh, I got somebody, women. Boy. Can I we got get somebody fair over here so fair. we can chase this criminal down? So I'm just saying. So somebody two fair. light-skinned cops pull up. No, we need a donkey. <laughs> Bring a donkey to so the we'll scene. see what happens with this. Uh, what's going to happen? Because she sounds like she's still... They said nothing was, you know, nothing charged. going to happen, bitch. We'll you going to punch in, get your check, and shut the fuck up. Because if you could do something, you would have did it. If they she pull, might got the juice now. What's her she, position again? Oh, yeah. She stated to uh, one of the state, state attorneys. attorneys. Yeah. So just one like with Philando Fis- 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 Castillo, we're going to wait and see what happens. But the first black and yeah. first female. So put wow. That, so that's, that's a pretty, pretty, that's a pretty yeah. powerful position. Yeah. She finna hang her whole job on the line for the people. That's right, girl. Well, no, she ain't going to do nope. that. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> 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 bitches and bills. Remember that. <laughs> bitches and bills. They kill them women. Oof. It's some lady. Oh, the judge. I don't know the Yeah. You see what they did to her? She ain't. She can't do nothing. You got that job to be put there. We need the color of your face in this seat right now. You ain't got no power. You got no power. You can't do nothing. How are you that and you can't get the cops? The cops should be suspended or fired by now. I'm rooting for her. I hope she gets some fire. Let's see. Let's see. Or change that because they've been pulling. If they because he just read and said we all we do it all the time. I said something about. Black people ain't got the power to put nobody on TV. I mean, ain't got the power to make the decisions of what's on television. Mm. Mm. And I had motherfuckers telling me, no, you wrong, and showing me people in positions just like that. Oh, this is so-and-so. She works at CBS or whatever, whatever. I'm not knocking them for having a job and getting money, but you ain't got no power. Mm. You ain't got no power. That's why they pulled you over, because they know you ain't got no power. That's not me talking crazy. That's just me saying what it really is. If you had power, man, they wouldn't pull you over. Right. Well, last thing, I just thought that this was just crazy. I mean, um, I don't even know where to start with this story. Uh, I know that people are doing things to, like, um, change their look. But this one, I don't even know where to begin. You know how you got people bleaching their skins and stuff like that? Uh, there's what this, There's this woman that just got to Los Angeles. Her name is Martina Ooh. Big. Mm. She's turning herself oh. into a black woman, as she says it. Let her tell it. Oh, um, oh God. No. Claimed, so that's what she started That's at? what she started <laughs> off with on the left. And then she started injecting her skin with this dye. And she's in the middle. And then also now that's her on the far right top. 
and she the bottom. Uh, <laughs> knee meat hang glow syndrome. Wait, <laughs> what is it? She claims knee meat hang glow syndrome. Knee meat hang glow. Knee, knee meat hang glow syndrome. She claims to be. She claims to be. Knee meat hanging low. She claims, she claims, she claims, low. Uh, she, she claims to be a model and was in Los Angeles to appear on the show that's called Botched. You know, where, and she wanted to ask the doctors to give her a butt. So that it can balance her new look, <laughs> but then at the end she backs out and she says no. Anyway, um, call her Mammy Sosa. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> them titties are ridiculous. She's actually calling. If you go on her um, social media, she's wow. actually calls. She's calling Teddy herself mom. black now. She says that she's a black woman. She's a proud black woman now. <laughs> no, you're not. And it's so bad that she even has her boyfriend doing it as well. Oh, that? no. So no. Uh, so she got on a Dutch sheet. It's a black couple? <laughs> no, that's her. That's, that's the girl wow. now and her boyfriend. So that's the two of them on the left. That's them in the middle. And then that's them to the far right. Well, he looked like he'd do anything for the pussy not to go away. <laughs> But look how he looked at the left. Oh, I can't believe it. Anyway, she's she claims to have they the... They turned this motherfucker to the newscaster on Family Guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. I look like real-life cartoon characters. It's cold as hell outside. She actually, she actually injects tanning dye into her skin and also, on top of that, uses a tanning bed. And what? she likes to describe her crispy brown skin. She said, crispy. I love my crispy. crispy. She called crispy. it crispy. Crispy brown Because she went too far with it. She, <laughs> she wanted to. And she crispy. also says, uh, just wait. I am not done yet. Let's see how far I can go. She oh. actually posted a video recently on her Instagram. And she's actually like uh, saying, did you see how difficult it was for me to get in the ho check in the hotel? Oh. Because I'm black now. Wow. I swear on everything. She puts videos. White people black. always it's secretly want to be black, but now they pushing it too. That's far. Re that's the craziest thing I've seen in a long they time. They did the black face. That shit got them beat up. You Ooh, know, they to tried to get the afro in the seventies. I can't. It's just too. It's just too much. She turned black into a fetish. That's crazy. The worst thing she about bitches with little ass legs when they got <laughs> real big titties. <laughs> They look stupid as fuck. What they look like? If you got little <laughs> legs, you don't need big breasts. You look stupid. I ain't nothing well, worse than a both. bitch standing in front the, of you. It's the butt and the breasts. You can't, yeah. And her legs but real both. little. But and like, boobs. Bitch, you can't have big titties with your legs like that. You got to get the leg and titty surgery together. Tell the doctor to give you a two for one or something, bitch. You don't look right with little legs and big titties. <laughs> oh, my God. It's too How much. How is she going to maintain that look, though? She got to keep doing that. The titties going to maintain itself. I can't. They deflate and then reinflate. <laughs> Every night. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really loose talk about bull. Oh, that pussy no. probably terrible. They say the bitch look like Shannon Sharp with titties. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it's not 9.49. I don't know if you want to keep going or you want to take a break and come back because I know that you were late. Break. Yeah, we can take a break. Yeah, the show started late. I was sick, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to take some medicine to perk me up to be here today. But... That's I what know. we said, dude. I was sick as fuck, man. Said he sleep. Sleep? <laughs> Shit, I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> Almost. All right. Had to take some medicine to stabilize me. Come on, man. Don't act like it's, you ain't It's been making me drowsy. <laughs> I'm drowsy now because pain meds make you drowsy. I'm just oh, keeping it real. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I do not think it. she's beautiful. Hell oh, no. oh, they said, does Corey think she's beautiful? That's hilarious. Somebody say, my joke finally made it on air. That's funny. <laughs> she, I'll she be trying to get y'all jokes in, chat room goes. They she crazy. actually didn't look like, she didn't look bad to begin with. I don't understand no, what she wasn't cute mentors. to begin with. No, but she wouldn't look she bad. Was cute. Body. She, she was cute. Okay she was okay as a white woman. That's what I'm saying. See, she was all right. right. That's what I'm saying. She was The only thing person. that you mentioned, them loose ass knees. She needed to get them tucked. Loose knee meat I think she went to get that tucked and then just was like, I'm going to keep loose knee meat. Loose knee meat. What's the technical term again? Loose knee meat. <laughs> Loose knee meat. Loose knee meat. Loose knee meat. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Wobbling knee meat. She got like two heads. Loose knee meat. crazy looking. I know anyway. them titties stank like a motherfucker in the summertime. God, God damn it. God dang it. That it's bitch got crazy. to put A and D ointment under her titties. Did you see how she looked when she laid down? That, was that bitch look crazy. Yeah. <laughs> she got anyway. playground titties. Like it looked like a playground set, for something for the kids to play on during the summer. dodgeball set up. Right. <laughs> Y'all go play in her titties. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Hi. We'll be back. Fifty one right. fifty, motherfucker. Oh, cute. Yeah. Yeah.
That's your girl. That's you talking about shorty over there with the two kids get child support for them niggas, man? You ain't know? You ain't know? I thought you knew. I thought you knew. She's a thot. 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 She's a thot.
Ride the Savage on the track.
Mm-hmm. There you go. Are we back? We're back. E- All right. Test the test the yeah, yeah. yeah. We good, D. I'm straight. What's happening? I know y'all motherfuckers thought we fell off all the way, but we haven't. We got another 5150 banger we made during the motherfucking break. Oh, yeah. Talk about bitches who got all that motherfucking skin you hanging sweet. over their motherfucking knees. You ain't want to be that. Sorry, got loose knees. Frankie Frank. Yeah, it should be playing. I can't hear shit. Mm-hmm. Can't hear anything. Our vocals are way Start too it high. over, Frank. Start it over, Frank. Let's get this right. Woo, yeah, the vocals are high, huh? Yeah, hey, the vocals. cut the fan, man. <laughs> Cut the fan, man. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Test it, test it. Is that it? <laughs> Can't hear it, huh? Yeah, no, it's really I can hear it. Oh. Can, you hear it? can y'all hear it? When you hold that board, man. No, I can't, I can't hear it. I can't hear it. You in full I'll control, man. Shit, right. <laughs> trying to do my uh, Terrence right. Howard. The voices are loud, though. The voices are hella loud. Right. Right. I can, Darlene, yeah, the music's real low. Say something. Test, test, test. Okay. Yeah, we loud. Okay. There it is. Yeah, Shouty go. got that fucking loose knee me. Loose Shouty knee. walking loose around knee. with loose knee me. Loose Shouty knee. got loose all knee. that loose knee me. Loose Shouty knee. got loose all knee. that loose knee me. I got a bitch me. and her knee me loose. Loose knee The shit me. hang like the lips on a moose. Loose knee me. I kick the bitch with a damn boot. Loose the knee me. And it wiggled me. and it went. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Shawty knees be wiggling. Shawty knees be jiggling. Knee me. I tried to show Shawty some love, but her knees look like a damn pug. Shawty ain't getting in the club. She need to soak them knees in the tub. Yeah. Let them expand. Get them full. <laughs> loose knee me. Shawty walking loose around with loose knee me. Shawty walking around with loose knee me. Loose knee me. Loose knee me. Loose knee me. Corey, let's go. The bitch knees look like a potato in the microwave. Woo! I said, damn, your body won't behave. God ah. fucked you up, gave you fucked up knees. Please. You need to go to church and beg God, please. Please to fix knee that knee me hanging over and over. Loose knee me. <laughs> your knees look like Grover <laughs> on <laughs> Sesame Street, you bitch. Your ass need to get your shit Loose knee me, shouty walking around with loose knee me. Loose knee me. I'ma still ski ski. I don't give a fuck about loose knee me. Loose knee me, loose knee me. Shouty walking around with loose knee me. She gotta come here and see me. I'ma spread them legs, then I'ma smooth out them kneecaps. Cause I need that, I need that. Knee me. Shawty walking around with loose knee me. Shawty walking around with loose knee me. Shawty walking around with loose knee me. Loose knee me. That's what's up, y'all. Yeah. This goes out to all them bitches out there who need loose in the mother. Get your shit together. All you top heavy aunties stirring up all the potato salad. Loose knee meat. Coming out the remix for you yeah. fat neck yeah. niggas. Uh, loose neck meat. 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 That's for Donald Trump. All you bitches who cook in the lunchroom. Oh. Loose oh elbow meat. <laughs> <laughs> They got Woo! all them spots on their titties, all the moles. The green spot popped. Ugh. No, it just be moles just oh, from life. Just from life. <laughs> life <Mike> moles. <laughs> what the fuck? That be oh, spread across the titties. God like dang it. it. Uh-huh. Oh, that was fun. Show they that got was fun for real. Mm-hmm. That was Loose knee though. meat. Ooh. Loose knee meat. Loose knee meat. Coming soon to iTunes. Oh, right. my Coming God. Coming soon to iTunes, oh, motherfucker. Y'all, yeah. know, y'all motherfuckers don't know Freddie was doing some cold freestyles on that shit. Yeah. yeah. Niggas, niggas don't know. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. I met Teddy when I just pop up at the clubs every once in a while. Mm. I feel like I got good judgment of people because I watch motherfuckers. 
Right. Teddy, you probably don't even know. I used to look at your ass like. <laughs> Can I'm just standing there with my right. backpack on, right. looking goofy, nigga. You little fuck nigga, is he a real? Is he, is he good people? Is he a little fuck nigga? I be watching. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I do the same. Yeah. I do the same. Yeah. You got Heads to. Up. But do Heads you follow up. niggas? Like what? Hell no. I don't this follow one. Niggas. Okay. What I do? Oh, he like probably. walking. No, he'll no, follow No, he'll just, yeah, you never know. When he like when he ain't on the oh. he'll, he'll follow you. No, oh, no. Nah. He's talking shit about you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was like, hold on, hold on, oh, Corey, no money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be invited, nigga, but don't just show up. So I can't <laughs> believe you, you're that young. When he got this, is a, this is a kid, basically. That's what I'm yeah. saying. How old are you, Teddy? 26. Wow. But I've been, I've been on the scene since I was 19. Right on. Yeah, Good so. job, man. I, out here I, grinding, I, I, man. I, you know, I don't know all your story, Teddy, but I know you know motherfuckers. You know motherfuckers out here can't hold water. Right. Who do you who did, did you grow up with? Your parents? Um, a little bit, a little. Uh, early on, I was with my grandparents, and then around ten, moved back with my mom. Oh, okay. You know the whole traditional black story, just right? Separated, daddy in one state, mama is just. I know how it go, but the reason I I, I bring that up is because. It's a lot of people who use excuses to be fucked up individuals. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And to be you, losers, to be failures. Right. right. You've mm-hmm. been through it. My sister one. I got a sister that ain't shit. And she act like her life was rough and all that shit. Fuck out of here. You had a mama, bitch. But uh, you Once know, I realized people didn't care about your complaints, like... I was just a kid that nobody... And then no matter what I said, nigga, I could fall off a building, break both legs, and nigga be like... You, mean? you ain't never walk up to him and say, I'm hungry, didn't you? Who oh, them? Yeah, you. Nah. <laughs> nah. That's why I was never even when I was homeless, I never begged for, for change. And anybody gonna feed me. Homeless. Yeah. Motherfuckers don't know, dog. I was This comedy too, game man. ain't ain't ooh. Mm. Tears of a clown. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey Teddy, but Smoking you on Robinson track. Was not, was not, mm-hmm. huh? He on track. You on track. Man. Oh, thank you. I used bro. to sleep like back in the day, man, I used to sleep in the train station in New York. Cause I didn't want to spend the little seventy five, a hundred dollars I made on a hotel or nothing. Cause right. you know what I'm saying. I, I wanted to go back home with a little money in my pocket. So I used to, man, it, it was weird. It was like I used to be like, well, I'm out here with these motherfuckers. I, I, mean, I, I did that same turnaround in Frisco. Not you know, just you ever. So you, what, I was, I did a uh, cluster fest this year. Mm. What's that? The oh, wow, uh, Comedy Central huge, yeah. with Colossal mm-hmm. Cluster Fest with mm-hmm. headlining Kevin Hart, all that shit. Right. But they yeah. didn't give me my check for the hotel until wow. I got there. So I was just, I couldn't book it once I got there. So I just thugged it out that night. Oh. Where you slept? <clears throat> uh, the homie had a couch eventually, oh. but he didn't tell me about it until like 3 a.m. 4 a.m. He, he really was hoping you come up with another motherfucker. <laughs> he was like, fuck it, come on. Right. Man. Like, like oh, yeah. word, this is all you got? For I sure. know they was worried about when you took your shoes off and shit. You know what? <laughs> wow. Wow. Man, put your yeah, shoes man. outside, man. nephew. <laughs> Do that. No, I, I'm in my homeboy. Uh, <laughs> this nigga, well, he was like a comic and he was new. And, uh, he was like, he was out there. You know what I'm saying? Just smelly feet. It. Yeah. Walking, oh, you walk man. everywhere. Man. He, he didn't comment? have smelly feet. He just was stinky because he, I could tell he wore that shit for days at a time. <laughs> and uh, my homeboy Sam, we was driving to Southern Illinois to this gig, and uh, 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 they put him out the other car. And I wasn't gonna leave him, so I was like, Damn, "Wow, this motherfucker!" So I put him in the car with me, but and you- uh, Sam was asleep. My homeboy Sam. Then all of a sudden, Sam woke up. Uh oh. <laughs> back there, he said, Hey, man, why you put this horse in this motherfucker? Oh, <laughs> That's what? Comedians ain't got no filter, no. Sam nothing. ain't no comedian. He just a motherfucker. He wow, he just <laughs> ripping niggas' hearts <laughs> off. Nigga, you know that nigga that outside Cheeto smell? That's yeah. what he had. That outside oh. Cheetos. Outside Cheeto. Damn it. Yeah. That's that field rot. Yeah, that's when you Field been, rot. That's when you've been Simmer. sitting in your yeah. shit. Like that Waffle House, that trap grease that they got in there. That oh, right. oh, oh. Uh, the Waffle House waitress shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's his scent. That ain't nothing right there, boy. Wow. A Waffle no. House waitress shoe. You want to get rid of, you want to get, you want to make a skunk jealous? Oh. <laughs> Show him your homie. God damn it. <laughs> Make that fragrance. Waffle House waitress shoe. The new fragrance. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Them skunks would be like, that bitch ain't got nothing on me. Shit. <laughs> How long was that ride to I'm to getting seven. better, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just by curiosity, you say that. Look, Southern Illinois is basically closer to St. Louis. Okay. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like five hours. Wow. 
Wow. So, but he was only in the car with us for two hours. The people who he was riding with put him out. It was huh. like, motherfucker, you stank. Wow. Damn. And what, where did they think he was going to go? <laughs> they didn't know he was going to stink, but they thugged it out for like two or three, three hours. Three hours. It was like, fuck that. that Somebody was smoking a black bottle. bottle. I'm like, that ain't even helping. Right. <laughs> they didn't have Febreze back then either. He smelled like right there where the airplane land. You know right. when the wheel hit? <laughs> Shit, that's what he smelled like. Oh, like burnt rubber. Just right. I can't. God. Stop. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. But don't think you. Let me tell you something, man. You, you, twenty six. You on track, G? Thank you, man. It's gonna happen, man. Thank it's gonna you. happen organically, man. I, I you know, what's and surprising? that's how I want it too. I don't want it. I never seen you other perform. Way. I see you I on see, the internet. Yeah, and, and we see each like, other okay, at all the club. Every time I see Corey, it's always respect. He where where can they find him on? The, where can they find you on the internet? Uh, just Teddy Ray. Just YouTube Teddy Ray. I do a lot of videos. Teddy Ray. Def Digital. Yeah, R A Y. Okay. All he grind digital. Yeah, you so. young. That's why I'm gonna tell you to stay there. He yeah. Oh no, I'm, uh, I'm, no. Let they, you gonna get robbed. Ain't no way in the world you're not gonna get robbed. I, I that know. first. Deal. Everybody who smile with you, I'm telling you, later on in life, you are gonna be like that motherfucker was <laughs> robbing me the whole time. I already <laughs> know. I already woke up, Corey. You know. But don't I, stop. Don't stop doing what you do, dog. You, yeah. you, you, you. Them motherfuckers gonna get what they get. Trust me, you don't get away with shit in this world. When motherfuckers do dirt, um, it come back on you. Yeah, dirt idea come back on me. You know what I'm saying? And it and it, it's even worse when it come back later on in life because mm. you helpless and don't nobody love you. That's why I smoke weed, <laughs> man, to keep my karma down. So I get I be forgetful. Like God, did I do that? I ain't never th- think you smoke weed. You never did. Let me see your gums. You know, no, I'm just oh man, that's the ultimate test. You know they black. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> this is my gums look like Issa Rae. Right, your lips the same oh. color as your face. Oh. My lips been this way before I even smoked. My mama thought I smoked. She drug tested me when I was like sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> she was just like, I don't believe your lips is just black like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? I don't smoke. This is before I even <laughs> was smoking like that. That's and funny. Is that one of your jokes? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that's when you That's when you, material ah, right there it, it come to you When you mm-hmm. get older in this game And you really the motherfucker that you say You ain't gonna be scared to say shit yeah. Cause your mama drug tested you While you was 8 Cause your lips <laughs> I wasn't 8 I was like 15 <laughs> well, exaggerating Yeah I'm gonna exaggerate I'm a lie I'm gonna say she that drug tested me at 6 Right she yeah. gave At me a, 6 She gave me an Easter basket And said wait a minute Fuck that Come here <laughs> Something in that Easter basket. Nah, man, but that's good, man. First and foremost, you got the work ethic. A lot of motherfuckers would have quit a long time ago, especially if they got to sleep, you know, on somebody's couch or they homeless. And a lot of motherfuckers would have just quit. But the fact that from 19 till now. Yeah, comedy keep me up at night, so I can't. I got to push forward. There it is, man. Keep doing your shit, yo, G. Keep doing your shit. Thank you, man. You don't see me out there a lot because... It seems like when I, I when I out, see you, you know what I see you. You be for, there for the let out. He I just want to see bitches walk to their car and he say some disrespectful shit. Right. Say some shit. <laughs> Which one of you bitches need they they light bill paid? Right, <laughs> dirty bitch, and then he'll just keep <laughs> let her keep walking. I'm like, Corey, what's up? but no, I don't hang out a lot because <laughs> it's not a lot of talent in the L.A. underground. Oh yeah, it's, it's not the, the it's city done dried up. Watching what you do so they can go do it when you ain't around. Mm. I caught somebody online stealing my shit. Yeah. Already? Yeah. Call their ass out. Yeah. You don't want to call them out? See, you DC, DC Young Fly. Yeah, he stole your shit? One of my jokes, yeah. What? Wow. But it was, it, it, I, wasn't, I didn't even care like that. I just, people were tagging me in the video and I was just like, what and he had seen joke? me perform a few times. Like, what was the joke? I do a joke about singing in the choir. Was, and I mentioned a song, Melodies from Heaven. It's just very ironic that we both did a song based, a joke based off Melodies from Heaven. Well, you know, it's like because people don't know you as well. Right. Right. And he got a bigger name and bigger following. Yeah, I'm saying and, like, because that happens a lot. Like, uh, it's a comic named Coco Brown. She do everybody jokes. Wow. Mm. She do everybody. If she's seen your set, she's going to do your set. Mm. Coco Brown. I like David Coco. Arnold. <laughs> G-Thang. Yeah, I, I I don't care. You see me come to me, beat me up. What you gonna do? I ain't gonna never stop talking. 
I, it's other people. I know it's a whole lot. I, I've been doing this seven years, so I, I see the guy. I see how niggas move. I see who's sitting in the back of the room and and get, act real quiet. Oh, so bad, some of them never make it. How do you still prove the material and never make it? I'm just saying. You're too busy staring at everybody else's shit and not yeah. focusing on mm. your own story and your own so grind. What is what is the process of being a, a great comedian? One that doesn't, you know, because I I've, I've been hearing these stories a long time. Stay you know, on guys, stage, guys taking pieces or whatever. But what is the process of developing original material? How do you do it? You gotta have it, right? You it ain't nothing that you can develop. If you got it, it's gonna show. It ain't about twenty real comedians. Everybody else everybody watching wanted. them and yeah. branching they show off what they heard them mm. say. Mm. It ain't about 20, 20 real comedians. Fuck it. Let's just say, in the whole United States, it's about 50 real comedians. That got there's material. No, there's that... no talent scouts no more. TV needs content. Yeah. So the riffraff makes it on air. Amy Schumer is a famous comedian because she's a Caucasian woman who found a way to break through doing... I heard proven, she be stealing material. Yeah, doing proven material that other comedians <clears throat> make. But they, they don't care. You think Hollywood cares? No, they don't care. They the integrity ain't ain't on that side like that. They just want the product. They want to know how much money they make. But we we because we wrote it and we got so much attachment to it. There used to be we talent to scouts that would go out and find the guys who really are good. And kind of groom them and kind of hide take them in the back yeah. and watch them. And then one day they approach them. Yo, I'm from so and so so and so, and I've been watching you. They dude. don't do that no more. No. no, now it's just like, oh, you comedian? Go. Right now we got what's your name? <laughs> How many followers, followers right. do you got? That's right. really the question. How many followers? Well, that's what happened with the Wild and Out show. The Wild and Out show is basically an internet kids show, yeah. and I'm not mad at them for doing what they got to do. It's cheaper to book them, right? You know, it costs more to book um, the established acts. You should definitely be on Wild and Out. I, we was there last year. You did it right. Yeah. All right. All right. I was, <laughs> Corey don't Gene remember shit. One. He pulled oh. up hella late to say. I'm old. Just velour suit, duffel bag. His name on the call sheet. We there early as hell. I'm like, okay, we here. Corey you mean when I was in Cali? Yeah, when we was at CBS. I just yeah. remembered that. Yeah, so we didn't work together, but it's like... Did you, it ain't, did you do it this year? No, nah, they, they didn't call me up this year. Nick um, need to really call you up, man. And let I just... You. I, 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 I'm I'm not good at kissing ass, but I'm starting to learn that it, you still... You don't have to kiss ass. You just got to be patient. Yeah. And continue to work on your craft. That's all I. If you good, if you good, it's gonna show. Yeah. It's gonna show. Yeah. So. Eventually, but that's just how I did it. I ain't kiss that. But now I'm older and I don't. I don't really bite my tongue much. That's why he's um, ornery. I put motherfuckers oh. out there. <laughs> let me ask you this. I tell you what, it's the truth. Let me. Ask I ain't you gonna this. lie on nobody. Right. Yeah. Let me. Let me ask you this. Is this true or false? Because I heard a comedian say, "Whoever." <laughs> Excuse me. Gets to. It's TV. a reason you coughed right there. <laughs> That's God, right? No. That's God. But go ahead, because it's some. It's some. A comedian said no. That's some bullshit. Who, Whoever get the TV with it first. That's they, what they I get. heard. Whoever gets the TV with nah. it first owns the joke. That's not a talented. person. I heard somebody say that, so and why it blew not, my mind. Why not? Why not give Genevieve or Frank all the jokes and they do it on TV? That then, blew my mind. As soon as I heard that, I was like, you might as well give your whole set away, dude. Right. Mm. So there's guys out there that are listening, taking notes, and trying to get it to somebody that can get it to TV. Or, right. Uh, there's guys right. out there listening on other people's sets and bringing it to more famous or motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Unknowingly. Taking wow. them other people's jokes. Nick Cannon got motherfuckers around him. This dude named Rip Michaels. He's a known joke thief. This nigga stole jokes in workshops. Right, in workshop. This when this we was in a workshop, and Nick Cannon know this, and I like I ain't had a chance to say, "Bruh, just because you you doing this on this level, you not above what's right and wrong. If you know this is a scumbag motherfucker, why you got him around you? This is what I would ask my brother Nick." Why you got Rip Michaels around you? He giving you other people jokes for you to do. Ooh. Right. He didn't but write none of that shit. If somebody bring that to you, Nick, I know you know that's true. 
Mm. You can't have motherfuckers like that around you unless you that type of motherfucker. And so and has I don't been know Nick Cannon to be that type of motherfucker. But has he we been told? We can all lose our way for a while. Mm. But this motherfucker's like me who gonna be like, <laughs> uh huh. wake up. Right. Don't fuck with niggas like that. Your life will start to go like niggas like that. Mm. If you start fucking with niggas like a Rip Michaels. Wow. Or Dave Arnold or any of them motherfuckers. I said it, motherfucker. Come see me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bitch nigga. Oh, they won't come see you. What I remember the day the day I realized Corey was one of the realest niggas ever. When you was talking that shit to David Arnold on stage. Oh, yeah. That and he didn't even nigga. do shit. I was like, David but Arnold. What is he going to do? As a nigga. I'm, I'm, he a homosexual. My homies, we. I don't yeah. like motherfuckers who do side chick jokes, but you fucking niggas. Talk about the niggas you fucking. <laughs> the LGBT community need a comic talking about all the dick they get and go home to their wife. Do that, David Arnold. You homosexual. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we're here. Yeah. Right. Let's bring back oh, the such old Aries guys. came but, on my show talking about he make $2 million a year. Lying bullshit. like a motherfucker. But that's why I know I, the clubs you work, nigga. That's why you got beat up. That first swing was <laughs> that first swing kind of passed his ear a little bit, and didn't connect fully. But everything else was solid. I say we bring back the old dog bark at this moment right now. Where's the dog bark? Here we go. Just like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they got memes of the old dog. It's the old dog bark. He said that's the way an old dog look when it barks. Wow. One more time. But I ain't got. The- no, he can't. He didn't. He had. Look. He didn't even do the. Yeah, he's got to do the, the, the pre-dog bark. Go ahead. I mean, we ain't going to be here all night. No, I know. Just, just one more. I just definitely wanted to talk to the youngster. He's a young comedian. I know. He's I impressionable. Know yeah. He's watching the game. But I'm I feel like I'm, I watch all parts of the game, and I take the parts that I feel are the most true. And, like, I watch people like you, Earthquake, Cat, you know, Dion Cole, like, just people like that who I feel are like just – Real comics, you know what I mean? Like, I don't... Everybody else is just whatever to me. That's know? what's up, man. I mean, like, I, I, I work hard to earn mine. Pretty soon, you're going to be the OG of the game because I'm telling you, it go like this. Man. I remember when I was 26. <laughs> I was like, it's seven damn. years, Loki, went like this. I looked up, I was like, damn, you really... you almost 10 years go like to this, this shit. Dog. I can't believe I've been in L.A. since, like, 2000. I'm, I'm an L.A. <laughs> is that a... Is that a Angelino. word? Los Angelino. Angelino, yeah. That's you be Los at the court Angelino. in Ladera. You for real uh, L.A. Yeah. Woo! Anytime you see Corey around the city, you, you know. Anyway. All Dev Digital, shout out to the squad, man. Shout out to y'all. That's the... Uh, that's our little slogan. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Oh, they, I guess they following you, too. Right yeah, they, they fucking with it, man. Teddy looking 45. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> praise God for you. <laughs> Nigga said praise God. <laughs> <laughs> you looking 45. And you looking <laughs> like. Say this nigga look like a plum with a fitted on. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Matt Reif that? got me with a good one on uh, Wild and Out. Matt Reif. What white what? boy. What he said, uh. Why do I look like a five foot seven avocado? Or some shit like that in the wild style. I was like, mm. you motherfucker. Yeah. You motherfucker. <laughs> I, to, I just had to turn the scene around a little bit. I was like, somebody on, on, on Twitter put that picture of you with Juicy. They used to do that when I was a kid. Be Juicy. like, Super. That, that's the dude from the Super? PJs, yeah. yeah. From the PJs. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <Yeah. laughs> but I like how you take it because that bitch yeah. ass nigga, Ari Spears, was on here during the break. Why they don't like me? Why? What did I do? What did, I'm like, motherfucker, yeah, don't nobody like you. Show. Right. I don't like you, don't I? Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you right I was now. so happy somebody swung Did on Aries. No, I'm just going to say Did something real Jaws. quick. This what you got to say, D, go ahead. Don't let him do that. The difference between people's character is instant. When he walked in here, he was courteous. He said hello to all of us. He oh, introduced he's, he's, himself. Yeah, I can't cool. say that for that other man. What that happened when about. Aries got here? He was cool. Wow. Very rude. He didn't say hi. Didn't even say what he was here for. He just asked, Corey not here yet? <coughs> mm, no. And I even said, I was like, hey. Just like that, he's walking up to me. He's Looked around. Corey's not here yet. Didn't even say hello. I've never met the man. You bitch ass nigga. What you gonna do when you see me? I know you're looking for shit to run and tell your lawyers that you gave some money to to try to motherfucking. Th- what you gonna hit the jackpot against us, motherfucker? You bitch ass nigga. But anyway, fucking you were very Aerie Spears. And kind. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you. you Sue me for calling you a bitch ass nigga. Here we go. Motherfucker. But we got the youngster in the house. Yeah. So trying to divert that shit. (laughs) Because he tried it. Because he he wanted off his head. You a bitch ass nigga when I see you too. And I ain't got I ain't got to send text messages to tell you what I could do with my gangster niggas and all that stupid shit you said to me. What you gonna do when you see me? Cause wow. I'm gonna walk right up to you with that motherfucking text and say what you meant with this shit. So get ready. When you see me, you gonna have to explain that text. You got to explain the text about your gangster niggas is supposed to be coming my way, Aries. Wow. So show this to them white people. Did you tell your white lawyers that? Teddy took my sandwich. Did you got motherfucking <laughs> lawyers? Did you tell your lawyers? Oh, by the way, I threatened Corey with gangster shit. Y'all bet you didn't tell him that. Well, I was on the show, and I was just cracking jokes, and that other dude beat me up. up. That's what you told the white people? You sucker-ass nigga. You fucking get into fights all over the nation. You think that shit, you think everybody don't know what you do, Aries? I can't wait to see your bitch ass at that airport. I can't wait. Corey Holcomb said it. Sue me, motherfucker. The fuck is you, motherfucker? I ain't scared of shit. Talk about, oh, don't be talking about that shit. I'm talking about it. Now tell whoever, your Jewish friends, motherfucker, them ain't your friends, you pay them. If you didn't pay them, they wouldn't talk to you, motherfucker. That's how I go with lawyers. Wow. Facts. I got Jewish mm-hmm. friends. You don't got no friends. You motherfucking a loner. And you be you be naked as you travel around this motherfucking country, nigga. And you know I know it. They don't know what naked mean. They think it's no clothes. You be naked. <laughs> no protection, you be out there nigga. naked, nigga. No backup. Yeah. Nobody to call. You and your gangster niggas, you supposed to be sending my way. Nigga, you naked. Shut the fuck up. I'm a good nigga. I'm a good nigga. That's why you motherfuckers able to talk that shit, bitch ass nigga. Anyway, they motherfucking got many large. <laughs> Why y'all still fucking with Teddy Ray, man? They got Damn! They got the chat room goons are quick. They got men at large. Come on, man. I ain't come on here for all of this. <laughs> no, that's all, that's all. Nah, it's all love, though, 5150. I'll be them same. If I wasn't doing comedy, I'd probably be in the comments talking shit. Like the rest of these niggas is just like, Corey look like motherfucking Athletic he barbecue fingers. for a living. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just be saying all types of shit. <laughs> I like when people talk shit about me on the chat room because sometimes Fat I think of jokes and watching back. this organically. Yeah, yeah this and is a good place to riff and come way. up with something. <laughs> mm-hmm. So anyway, we're gonna wrap the shit up, man. We're gonna get Teddy, uh, we're gonna roll him back to the crib and you shit. Want, and, uh, roll him. You know, you know what? <laughs> what you know what? Right, like I was just gonna lay on the ground and just let y'all <laughs> niggas roll me. You know what? <laughs> you guys are just it's a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Darlene got her hair different today. You look like a old I girl. I got too hot. I had had it down like this with the curl, and I just got too freaking hot. That's how old girl Turbo um, um, girlfriend was on Breaking 2 when he was in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Turbo. <laughs> he <laughs> remembers things from movies. Right. Like movies. Uh, I believe in the feet. Oh, they're going there. He Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, TMZ stopped me one day thinking I was that nigga. <laughs> I was coming up. out the Laugh Factory. They was like, it's the Mixon twin. I was like, right. huh? No, but at one time, Teddy, you had lost a whole bunch of weight. I lost 126 pounds, what? and I gained like 60 back. Yeah. Well, what happened? What, what do you mean? Do? How did Life I, happened. How did I lose the weight? The, the Money. sauces. Right. No, the, okay, I lost the weight <laughs> intentionally. We uh, started off like 2013, mm-hmm. had a show on ADD called Blowing Up, and mm-hmm. the goal was the goal of the show was to lose weight, me and Doughboy. Mm-hmm. So I beat Doughboy in that show. Did Doughboy lose weight still? Did he keep his yeah, weight Yeah, he off? lost weight, but he didn't, he he didn't do it, it the G way. Oh, he went the surgery way. Yeah. What? He went in there and got ass staple surgery. <laughs> he, he had went, the biggest ass. Oh, he got that Al Roker. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> lord. He got that Al Roker. He got ass he got Al Roker. You know, some guys get that hip fat. You know, that shit that... Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow, you say... <laughs> I like big butts and I can't <laughs> lock. Hip <laughs> fat. Hip <laughs> fat. Uh, nigga, no, they just boy. have a man. Yeah, he, he had this fat, too. But he mainly had the hip fat. He had auntie weight. Right. Like, like Supreme. Oh. Right. Like lead usher weight. I said he relapsed on Nutella. <laughs> Mayonnaise, though. That's what did it. 
<laughs> Nutella and mayonnaise. Yeah. No, uh, Doughboy had a, a while it out, Doughboy had on this jacket. And I made a mistake and put that jacket on. I was like, yeah, come on. That smell, boy. Oh! What did it smell you like? That, that, you know the, uh, like straight hip, over 260 smell. What is that? What does it smell like? Rotten pennies? Old pennies. Change. Smell like when you iron underwear. Anybody ever? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Have you ever ironed oh, underwear? Burn uh. funk. If you iron underwear, I don't warm underwear. Wash them. If you wash them, iron some draw. <laughs> Just burnt ass, then. Right. That's what burnt ass like. smell. Wow. Uh, Jesus. I ain't never thought to iron no drawers, and I'm never going to do it. Oh, because if they got mind. wet and you were trying to speed dry them? Yeah, back in the day, I was trying oh. to dry them. Oh, my God. You didn't think and you used your mama's like, blow dryer? That's a little sweet. I didn't think of that oh. back then. My mama okay. didn't have a blow dryer. We oh. were projects. Resist. That <laughs> was for <laughs> Blow dryer, you use it for heat. No, nah, but the <laughs> same discipline that you rely on to be a great comedian, because I can tell you're not going to stop. You're going to yeah. keep learning. You got to apply that same hey discipline. Man, it's no, it's this no motherfucker different. eat like shit. He just Ooh, got, so? he blessed with metabolism that don't add up like that. Ooh, that's not like one shit. of my problems. This I'm just saying. Burgers, right. Discipline. It ain't Sitting all the ocean. lentil and quinoa. He with is you sharp. Nigga. No, oh. it's not. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I just got a different metabolism. You're he right. lucky. Yeah. It's luck. You got a real slow metabolism. Right. Right <laughs> Slim and slow. Right. Okay, eight pounds on a, uh, some ice cubes. Right. Nah, I'm, I'm back on my shit, though. God bless me with hair. Now, see, on the hair side. Oh, oh here win. we go. Here Take we go. Take that hat off. You ain't taking that motherfucker off the day. <laughs> you ain't lying it. I know Zoe, when he had that shit lying down as far as it'll go. Lying. He do the rock line sometimes. He just scrape all the I shit off. It. <laughs> just clean it. When he think his shit look like Riddick, he'll take that hat off. Wow. Like the, Riddick. Wow. But now nah, he ain't. Because of relax. the eyes. You know I be waiting on you to relax too. <laughs> oh. If he wasn't so sensitive, I'd take that hat off. But I know he'd be calling D. No, this nigga. Marvel, <laughs> <laughs> you straight. Throw the shit out that dick. Stop it with you guys. <laughs> Expose <laughs> me. <laughs> I mean, looking like Stefan Marbury. Oh. And I don't eat a lot of bullshit. You don't? No. You, you eat good? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Today, you, yeah. let me, let, uh, first and foremost. Oh, What'd I you eat a, today? I had a tuna fish sandwich today. That's, That's it? All, all That's day? it? Yeah, I ain't ate shit else. I got to get me something, too, today. Me and Corey was in a restaurant. Where were we at, Corey? I don't remember. Which one? With all the pretty waitresses. Where? Where's the West Rock? Where were we at? Pleasanton? What was the name of that place? D was with us, right? Nope. What was the place it we went to together? you, nigga. Well, all three of us went yeah. to eat at that bear themed restaurant. <laughs> I took pictures yeah, of Corey's called and the, the bears bear. and everything. <laughs> everything was, was made out of a bear, my nigga. Baby bear. Nigga, you was the manager of you to win. It'd be like the big boss here. The big boss. Hey, welcome to the bear. I am Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just. Seats right here. <laughs> Where we go with the pretty waitresses? Nigga. Where? I but it was know. up north? I, I think it was California Pizza Kitchen. And you was like, oh, so, yeah. have you ever had the buffalo cauliflower? Right. <laughs> that shit was fine, though. <laughs> this nigga right here. Are you trying to be vegan? <laughs> Oh. No, but it was good. I eat what tastes good. That's true. I feel I'll try I feel stuff it tastes good, yeah. Eat that shit, shit was good. Yeah. It was good. I just watched bring that up. It was a bad bitch. Working in that though. That's what I'm, <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm saying. Corey is like, you know, one of those guys. He flip flop between them diet diner, and good. them diner niggas that go and know where all the good food is. Yeah. I had never heard of this. And shit. then all of a sudden, pop a kale salad right quick. <laughs> Nigga knew every Eat a item. kale salad and a four piece fried chicken. Right. <laughs> Drumstick, thigh. The nigga knew every item. Got everything. You don't know about this shit, nigga. Mm-mm. Hold on, get bring two of these motherfuckers. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, morning. Corey, that nigga be like, "This your first hey, look, time, bitch. Bring this motherfucker with me over here." This nigga, right, 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 right. Anyway. That shit was hilarious. Oh, before we go off air. They say your hat glued on, so. Yeah, I heard. It is Bobby Glanton. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Say that again, D. It's Bobby Glanton's Miss Birthday. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Happy birthday, Bobby. Bobby. Happy birthday, Bobby. Bobby sleep, though. Bobby ain't I'm up this late. I just talked to Bobby. Bobby, it's 1030. You think Bobby won't? 
Did, call was Bobby. I talking to Bobby? Yep. Call Bobby. He might, he might sleep now. That's what I'm he saying. It's his birthday. Bobby is like a night uh, uh, when the vampires, when the sun go down. That one. <laughs> so you finna be sleeping too. Bobby, Bobby is Victor from listen, the Lycan. Listen, put it towards the mic. Victor. Leave us. Put it by the mic, though. If he answer, Bobby is motherfucking sleep. I'm telling you, Bobby get up Hello? at five in the morning. He <laughs> oh, he's finna <laughs> answer the phone angry. Oh, Bobby, that's that woke up voice when you try to talk like, hello, let me, speak. let me speak. This is Corey. Uh, y'all don't put me on the air, man. <laughs> Bobby! Happy birthday, nigga! Happy birthday, Bobby. You know, I'm happy, man. I made it off of 40 something at uh, Princeton, man. Yeah, that's why I was calling you, man. Make sure I didn't go down the wrong street. Oh, that Bobby was in uh, Chicago. I was in uh, Chicago. Uh, Homeboy trying to figure out if they gonna, you know, retaliate because Willie done got killed. They killed 10 people between Friday and Sunday. And I'm like, man, I'm glad I know this guy. He, you may rock Johnson. He's the rockhead Johnson of uh, that part of Chicago. You still in Chicago, Bobby? No, I'm back, man. I'm uh, back. Okay. Corey thought you was asleep. They ain't through shooting. No, they ain't through shoot. Dali told us it was your birthday, Bobby, so we want to say happy birthday, brother. I appreciate that, Corey Hokum. I really do, man. Many and, more. Uh, I've been back to Chicago, man. Uh, broke some real important ground there uh, the last couple of days, man. So thank you, man, for uh, making that phone call to us, Dali, and I appreciate that. And while you had it, give Nelson Mandela credit. He'd have been 101 today. Oh, wow. All right. Shout out. Good looking, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby we gonna, yes, we need, we, you going to come visit us one day when you get a Tuesday off over there at the other show? Well, y'all don't even start on time, so I ain't even got to do nothing but just come on right after my show. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. All right, Bobby, we're going to wrap the show up. We'll get at you, man. Brush your gums. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then hang up on him so right. he can't, <laughs> we can't That's retaliate up. happy birthday Bobby <laughs> Gums alright we were in Chicago on Princeton Avenue <laughs> 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 shot 10 people <laughs> somebody said Bobby was buying ass and shot that oh. wow oh, no, no. he was up there on some say. real good business though on some construction on some construction his jobs alright we about buying, to make buying it. up the block Brothers about to make it. Anyway, all right, we about to wrap it up. I want to thank y'all for watching the 5150 show. We will see y'all next week. We about this bitch piece of love, motherfucker.